Hello YouTubers, welcome to the second part of the Nikon D750 and Nikon D780 white balance video. Here is the introduction and then we can get on to the main part of the video. Hi, I'm Ree. Hello, I'm Denise. Hi, I'm Lily. And welcome, welcome to the Dennis Bloodknot channel. I bet you're a bit disappointed, aren't you, lads? One, two, three a day. I'm on my way, on my way. I'ma have you on tiptoes, watching my diamond after glow. I know you wanna take me home. I'm on my way, on my way. Oh. Well, YouTubers, the important subject of white balance. When you are shooting video on your Nikon D750 or your Nikon D780, it is important to ensure that red looks to be red, green appears as green, white appears as white, and so on. If, when you are shooting video, you shoot in auto white balance, you do run the risk that some of the colours will just turn out wrongly. In the next part of the video, here is some side-by-side -side footage for both the D780 and the D750, and it shows what the video looks like with corrected white balance and with auto white balance. So see what you think. As you can see, correcting the white balance makes a massive difference in terms of the quality of the video. So let's check out how we actually do this. So the best thing that you've ever seen you know that you bow to the queen you lose all your senses and reason I'll give you something to believe. Well YouTubers, here we are. This is the Nikon D780 and as you can see we are in live view and we are using auto white balance. Now you may be able to see that the actual colours are not too great. There is a sort of, a, well, the red of that box is a bit off, as, as is the background. Well, the one thing that you particularly need in order to correct this is a blank sheet of white paper. The first thing that you do is you press the white balance button and you scroll across until you find one of the presets there it is and then you hold in the white balance button until that pre starts to uh, flash Then you move your blank sheet of white paper in front of the lens, press the OK button and hold it in until you get data acquired. Then you move the piece of paper out of the way and your white balance is now corrected. Well, YouTubers, here we are with the Nikon D750 and as with the Nikon D780 earlier we are using auto white balance. Once again we will be using a blank piece of paper 
to sort out this white balance issue. First things first, we are holding down the white balance button, holding down the white balance button, and then we turn the dial until we get to the preset option. Hold down the white balance button again until things start to flash. <clears throat> we then put our blank piece of paper in front of the lens. Hold the OK button in until we get data required. And there we are. White balance sorted out. Anyway, YouTubers, here we are. Here is the end result of those changes to the white balance on the Nikon D750 and the Nikon D780. As you can see, the colours are far more accurate. The video is of far better quality on both cameras and the end result is much better. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you have found it useful. I hope that you are able to use these techniques when you create your video using your Nikon DSLR. Anyway, many thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And Dennis Bloodnut will return in the next video. Thank you. Good at what I do. I'm o -N -W. MW, on my way to you. Hello, boys. I bet you're a bit disappointed, aren't you, lads? <laughs> <laughs> Good at what I do. I'm O M W. On my way. Nothing left to prove So enjoy the view Taking a picture like Malibu I'ma have you on tiptoes Watching my time and afterglow I know you wanna take me home I'm on my way, on my way OMW On my way to you Good at what I do I'm OMW W on my way to you. Good at what I do. I'm OMW.